In this video, we're going to be doing a gaming test on the new Google Pixel 8 Pro. Stay tuned. Alright everyone, hopefully you guys are having a good day. Hopefully everyone is safe out there. We have a few different video games we're going to test on this. We have Call of Duty Mobile, we have Fortnite, and of course we have Genshin Impact right here, which is a very, very decent stress test for this device. I'm going to be talking about performance, of course, while I'm playing. We're going to be talking about any heating issues, if there are any. And also, before I start this, this has the Google Tensor G3 inside of here, so we definitely got a decent bump up from last year's G2 and also 12 gigabytes of RAM inside this device. So we're packed up with some pretty decent specifications for gaming. So gaming shouldn't be too much of an issue, but we're gonna go from least graphic intensive to most. So we're gonna go and start off with Call of Duty Mobile and see how this plays. So as far as the graphical settings on Call of Duty Mobile, we are gonna be on the highest graphic quality and highest frame rate. So let's go ahead and uh, see how this goes. Right. So obviously this isn't the hardest game in the world to play. So this is running extremely smooth right now. Test out this kill streak in a second. Awesome. So this game runs perfectly fine. You guys are gonna have no issues with it. Uh, runs on the highest settings as well. So it looks pretty good. All right, guys, so next game we have right here, of course, is going to be Fortnite. We're going to see how far we can get inside of this. But uh, this game actually was running good. I did try this out a few days ago, and I was actually super surprised how decently this looked and ran. So we're going to show you that right now. So as far as our graphics by default, we're going to be set to Epic for our quality presets. Our 3D resolution is going to be on 75%, and our texture quality is going to be on high. So that is what we have set, and then I also set it to 60 frames per second, and uh, we're just waiting for a match. All right, guys, so we're just waiting for the bus to spawn right here, but as you guys can see, this looks really, really good. Um, I kind of have an old gaming laptop. I know 2017 was a while ago, um, but this is playing just as decently as my gaming laptop. I don't know if it says more about this phone or my laptop, but everything looks really good. The quality of everything, like the shadowing, the textures, everything looks really, really nice, especially for mobile, and uh, it's running at 60 frames per second. So definitely uh, excited to see what happens during battle and excited to show you guys. All right, so we are trying to figure out a place where we should drop. I guess let's just go with the hot drop, right? We're gonna be seeing some decent people in here for mobile, but I am not that great at mobile. This is zero builds as well. There we go, we got one. Let's go ahead and use this med kit. Let's go ahead and use this AR though. Nice. Decent elimination with the AR. Oh, damn. Okay. That guy right here. Ow. 
Ah, okay. Well, the game's playable. Um, we do have some glitches on it, of course. But um, for a mobile version of Fortnite, it's actually pretty okay. All right, guys, so the graphics or presets that are set on here, um, it is going to be, let's go ahead and go to our graphics right here. Graphic quality is going to be set to medium by default right here as well as 30 frames per second. So that is about where you want to play it at. You can put it a little bit higher as graphic wise, um, but it is not going to run as good. But medium looks really, really decent on here. It's not the same medium that you're going to be seeing on like the Galaxy A14 or the Galaxy A53 or A54. The display uh, is going to bring the resolution up much higher. Uh, the processor is going to make the game look much better. So the graphics look much better even though we have it on medium graphic default. But uh, let's see how we do right here. Alright. So the game still manages to look really, really decent uh, while running decent as well. So medium graphics is going to be fine at 30 frames per second. Um, I'm going to, however, up the frame rate to 60 instead of 30 frames per second and see how that affects this because I know a lot of people like to play on 60 frames per second. And as you guys can see, it says overclocked is what it's going to be running at if we put 60 FPS. But this is how 60 frames per second looks. Really not too bad. Alright, let's go ahead and switch our guy. So it still seems to run pretty decently. Really no issues playing at 60 frames per second on medium graphic settings. But um, I would definitely recommend playing at 30 frames per second if you guys don't mind. But uh, yeah, back of the phone is getting a little hot though. So just to let you guys know, back of the phone is getting warmer. Still nothing super, super uncomfortable though yet. So yeah, runs this game very, very decently. So yeah guys, that was gaming on the Pixel 8 Pro. And I have to say, this was a pretty decent experience with this device. As you guys know, the Tensor G3 on this device is going to be a better processor than the Tensor G2. So. I did notice that these games were running a little bit better than last year's Pixel 7 Pro, of course. And uh, this isn't the most powerful processor in the world. However, we do have the software here. Um, a lot of people want this device for more of the, the, the Google software on here, the, the stock Android, the security updates that this offers and uh, of course the beautiful camera that we have on here. So if you guys are wanting all of that and you guys want a decent gaming experience, not the craziest in the world, but a decent gaming experience, I can absolutely recommend this phone. I thought those games ran decently. However, the phone did get a tad bit hot, so that may be a con right there. Uh, for anybody out there that wants to game for long periods of time but yeah that was my gaming test on the pixel 8 pro if you guys have any questions leave them in the comment section down below hopefully you guys have a beautiful day this has been some fun from tech right peace out tech gang